Hello everyone, welcome back to SFDC Panther. My name is Amit Singh and in this video we are going to talk about how we can send the outbound message using Flow Builder. As you all might have uh, listened or you might have got to know that in the Dreamforce this year, Salesforce has announced that they are going to deprecate workflow rule and process builder in coming year 2023. So they are uh, giving us the capability to send the outbound message using Flow Builder. That is what we are going to talk over here. I am still using my pre-release org to show you that uh, capability of sending the outbound message. But by any chance, if you are wa watching this video after October 10, that means you have got the capability inside your developer environment and you can use your developer environment for sending the outbound message. I am not going to get deep into the outbound message because I have already created a video on the same and uh, I have given the link to the video inside the description so that you can go there and watch the video if you are not familiar with the outbound message. I will cover the high level detail of outbound message. So this is the diagram which is provided by Salesforce. I'm also going to give you the, this link in the description so that you can also uh, get more information about the outbound message which is provided by Salesforce itself. So what outbound message is? Suppose that you have some sort of records, records related to any standard object like account, contact or opportunity or you have some custom records like invoices or invoices line item. You wanted to send those information to any third party system without writing the code inside Salesforce or outside uh, your third party system. Okay. In that case, you can use workflow rules, uh, not workflow rules, basically you can use outbound messages and you can send the complete information. So this is uh, basically the working here. You can see that user is here. User is going to create the record of any of these objects or any other object that we have talked about. And once user creates, then Flow Builder is going to trigger our outbound message. Okay. This time, instead of using Flow uh, Workflow Rule, we will be using Flow. And Flow is going to trigger your outbound message. And outbound message is using SOAP API. When we talk about SOAP. That means a structure is going to be in the form of XML. And then there will be a web service endpoint. This is going to be the endpoint which is going to act as a listener. Listener is going to continuously listen on that endpoint. If that listener is receiving any single thing, they can quickly get that information and then uh, they can send us the acknowledgement to the Salesforce. If we are not getting the acknowledgement, Salesforce will consider that message as a failure message. And then we'll keep retrying sending the outbound message multiple times to the same endpoint. So what happens if you are not sending the correct acknowledgement, you are ending up uh, creating multiple records on the separate system that is going to have the problem of data duplication. Then if you have wanted to perform some inbound callout to Salesforce with the help of your uh, outbound message or the third party, you can also do that. But this is again completely optional. So this is basically the high level information about the outbound message. Now let's quickly go ahead and create one outbound message. To create the outbound message, log into your either pre-release org or to your developer environment. Search for outbound message and click here outbound message. And what scenario we are going to have here is whenever an opportunity is created with the stage of closed one or updated with the stage of closed one, we need to send the opportunity key information like what is the account, what is the amount, close date, and some other information to the third party system. So we have here, we'll create new outbound message. An object we are going to select opportunity because that is what we have discussed. Go ahead and click on next. Name we will say that okay, opportunity flow. Yeah, or you can say that opportunity outbound message. Endpoint, let's quickly uh, give it an optional endpoint for now. We will come back and we will change this endpoint to the actual endpoint where we wanted to send the data. Now, if you wanted to protect the component, check that checkbox and this session ID. So, as we discussed, right, if you wanted to make some inbound call to Salesforce, then you can send this session ID. Otherwise, don't send. And this session ID will only be sent if your endpoint is HTTP secure. So, let's say I'm going to send the session ID as well. Now, what I wanted to send account and amount, obviously the ID, and then I have got uh, the opportunity name lead source okay and then we have got uh, stage name the opportunity type so these are the few information we wanted to send to the 
third party system let's say sap go ahead and save it now you have just created the outbound message on the opportunity object so as we discussed this there should be one valid endpoint which will continuously listen our uh, our outbound message to do that what we will do is we will use pipe dream this is another we can say that a platform which is going to give us the ability to create the listener for our workflow rules okay so what you need to do is just go ahead and google it and say pipe dream okay and pipedream.com is the place which you need to google go ahead and log in it because you must need to log in to create the sources okay if you are here no matter where are you you just need to find this sources click on the sources okay you can see i've already got few listeners i'm going to create new and first thing what you need to select is a source our source is going to be a http webhook okay we will select that then we will talk about new request because we are sending the new request from salesforce so select that and the response is 200 content type this is going to be application by xml okay so what response you wanted to send this is the acknowledgement that we wanted to send to Salesforce. Okay. So to send the acknowledgement, there is a proper format. This is the proper format that we that Salesforce accepts. If you don't send the for in this format, what it will accept is Salesforce say, okay, that message is failed, and you will not be able to get that. Uh, uh, that Salesforce will keep retrying sending the message and you will receive in multiple times. Okay. So you can I'll just uh, keep as it is, say that success is true, okay. And name is going to say that opportunity, or let's say that closed opportunities, okay. Go ahead and create source. So, this is the one step that we are uh, basically trying to test. Now, if you see here, this is our endpoint. So, what we can do is we can just click on copy. You see here, it is waiting for event. There is no event which are being sent from Salesforce, it is continuously listening. Now, what we will do is we will go ahead edit this endpoint sorry not endpoint we will edit our workflow rule sorry outbound message after providing the url now what we have to do is we have to create a record triggered flow on opportunity so to do that go to setup search for flows and then click on new flow what we have to do is we need to create record triggered flow we'll say okay next you can select whatever real layout you want and here it will ask which object we wanted to create so we will say okay this is the object which is opportunity and then a record is created or updated and then here we will say condition and we will make sure that conditions are met what we will say there is a field called stage name it must be equal to closed one okay if this is the condition then only we are going to send the information to our pipe dream so click on done now what we have to do is under run immediately click on plus icon and then what you have to do is select action so remember we have created our outbound message so here under the category if you scroll down you will see an option called outbound message select that and here you will see your opportunity outbound message okay select that because this is our outbound message we are done just click on done so we have just sent this outbound message and what we can do is we can say okay just click on again add element if you wanted to have some sort of okay, i'm saying that post to chatter okay so we will say i wanted to send post to chatter to which record so message is basically message uh, message sent or say that record sent and then this is this is record id okay that we wanted to send click on done so what we have done is we have created a workflow sorry not flow uh, not workflow it is a flow builder then go ahead and save it and again we will say that send opportunity to pipe dream click on save so now we have got our flow builder in place we can just go ahead and activate it because that is how we are going to test it now what we will do is we will go ahead and create one opportunity which is closed one okay so let's do that i'm going to say here okay amit singh and say that name is as a flow select any account that we wanted to have amount we can select whatever the amount is Close date. If you wanted to select price book, that is not necessary. Stage name must be going to be closed one so that we can see that our information is being sent and uh, type and lead source. Okay. These are the few things that we wanted to send and we will go ahead and save it. So we have just created this opportunity, right? If you get back to your pipe dream, you can see there is one request that we have got. If you click here in the request, 
and if you go there and if you see body raw you can see this is your xml that you have received you got the session id you got you got the opportunity id then whatever you have got like sf id is going to be your opportunity sf this is salesforce colon id is your opportunity id and this id is your webhook id okay then whatever the name you have got it says existing every single thing that you have got over here okay then this is your organization id as well so you are getting this information in front uh, in the form of your xml what, what is happening basically what is happening in the salesforce we must need to check that as well so to do that you you are here under outbound message if you click on mon uh, like monitoring outbound message you can see here what it is saying is it is saying that this xml there is like the prolog the content is not allowed in prolog and kind of uh, kind of things right you see it is failing why it is failing if i try to send it retry it will again retry our pipe dream is receiving the message but our salesforce is saying that okay i'm not able to receive the correct acknowledgement that means the outbound has been failed you can see here we have got multiple times because it is keep retrying the information so to do that what you have to do is you have to just go ahead and uh, configuration this is our configuration okay and this is the response body that we have got so what we have to do is this is the body that i have got i will also give you this body and then just go ahead and paste it over here and make sure that you don't have any xml and all then update properties okay now what we are sending is we are sending the exact thing that salesforce is asking now let's talk about what it has we are sending some headers we don't need anything we are sending body because every soap uh, response or request must have a valid body and then this is saying that output notification response and then it is saying that output acknowledgement it should be true that is what a valid uh, boolean value is we will go ahead and we'll say okay refresh it you can see here it is saying that number of attempts are four total items in queue are waiting for delivery one so it is basically you can see here it has uh, increased the time from 13 to 16 that means after uh, three minutes in the meantime we will go ahead and clone this opportunity as well and i will just say it is cloned okay everything is same and uh, we will talk about what else we have on the event so it is we have got 4 4 is the event okay the last event and then we'll say okay save it we have created it if we get back here we got is 4 6 you can see here and this time if you go here on the structure you see the body or you see the body over here you can see this is what you have got and if you talk about the name you've got amit singh cloned okay now if you get back to your workflow monitoring section okay i will refresh this and this time we will only see this one not the new one because now the salesforce is receiving the valid acknowledgement so you can see here all the messages are gone because salesforce has received the valid acknowledgement now salesforce is saying that okay i am good with the response and i got and i understand that the message has been successfully delivered because this is the one the latest one that has came and if you see this is for the last one which salesforce did try okay so this is it for uh, the outbound message sending using workflow uh, using flow builder and uh, hope you have got to learn something new in this video thank you for your time and before you go ahead, please do like, share, subscribe the channel and also ask your friends and colleagues to subscribe the channel. And uh, this is it. We'll talk about uh, something new related to flows in the coming videos. Thank you.